Morning guys, a little bit of a different video today, giving you a couple of training videos in a row. So I thought we'd do a little bit of a, a vlog day as I'm heading down to Jordan's. Today's a good day, first thing first. Um, this morning we went live with the t-shirts. Currently wearing the, the white 4XL do the necessary. Great response so far. Um, very happy so just want to say like you know massive thank you to people who not only support but part ways with you know their hard-earned money because at the end of the day things ain't cheap today um and you know buying t-shirts and stuff as nice as it is i understand it's an expense and it's not a necessary one so for anyone that does click that button and buy just a personal message from myself and yannicka really just to say a huge thank you because it's just means a lot it shows that you um you're pretty invested in, in, in what I'm doing and, uh, you know, the bodybuilding and supporting the, I suppose, the path that is. Um, and, you know, in return, I hope that, you know, the content and information and T-shirts and stuff, like, is enough in order to, like, pay you back. Because it does mean a lot and I don't want to be someone that's just all take, take, take. It really matters to me that we work towards creating a good culture and a good vibe with bodybuilding you know that's why i've done the the, the slogans on the t-shirts something that me and luke were fortunate enough to to have for a very short time was a, a youtube series called pft um which you know if things were different would still be going on now so i thought you know what keep going still stand by that um for anyone that's a fan of what would you do him or me or both of us or either really I suppose it's for you to keep that culture alive to keep that kind of dream of pft proper you know real training because we're currently in a climate where there's a lot of not that <laughs> and then the do the necessary is an old slogan of mine um I used to say this a lot and it resonates with me because doing the necessary doesn't mean overdoing it it doesn't mean that you go out there and destroy yourself it means you do what is necessary um, and I live by that with all things. Um, bodybuilding is a fine balance between doing enough and doing too much or not doing enough. So, you know, you've really got to be calculated in your approach. And that's what this year is all about. Just being calculated in the approach and doing things in a manner that's, you know, measured, very instinctive and calculated and just trying to listen to my body and doing what is necessary. So, yeah. Anyway, I'll film some stuff today. It's just going to be a chill day. I am training later, but I'm not going to refocus really on training today because I'm going to give you guys a break. Um, there's plenty of footage for training if you want to go back to some of the older videos. So we'll just do some other stuff. Just see some of the travel today and just like have some general chats if anything comes to mind during the day worth discussing or talking about. I'll hop on and uh, have a chat. So uh, yeah, wishing you all a great day. Um, obviously, this is not going to be out today, but um, regardless, whenever you watch this, whatever day you watch this on, that day, have a good day, okay? And uh, thanks again, guys. Right, guys. I was uh, thinking I'm not going to leave here till probably about one o'clock because I'm going to go straight to the gym. So there's a couple of things I've got here that I thought I might show you, actually. One being inside this parcel right now. So I'm going to get this open and show you what's inside. <laughs> there we go, guys. So what is this? It's a skating magazine called One Magazine. So... <sighs> God, I don't know, I haven't really gone into the details of it, but my first love, my first sport, my first love was actually um, aggressive inline skating. And um, lately, well, for the last year or so, I've kind of had a little look back into it. Not to, like, do it, it's really just, I'm still quite passionate about it and still like watching the videos. So I, um, I was actually on a site that I've been going on quite a lot lately called Loco Skates. And I was just checking to see what magazines now are the one. Because back in the day for me, it was one called Daily Bread. Now, this was one magazine. So, I uh, I thought I might just start collecting them. And just kind of enjoy looking at something a little bit different. Because I'll tell you what I really like about skating. It's the, uh, the colours, the aesthetics of the skate boot. But also the, the clothing style, like some of the clothing is really quite edgy. So obviously doing my own clothing now, I'm putting together some ideas of, of clothing that could be a little bit different for my catalogue. Um, if I see something notable in here, then I'll obviously put it.
point it out. But, you know, the culture first and foremost was something that I just loved. Look at like, the font, like the distressed look. You know, the baggy round neck. I know this is like obviously huge on this gentleman, but being a bodybuilder, oversized stuff is obviously really, really cool. Great visuals. Um, I'll have a proper look at this later, but do you know what's really cool? I was watching a video earlier, and uh, let me just turn you around. I was watching a video earlier, and it was a YouTube video called... It was an acronym, I can't remember, but it's a skate video. And all the gentlemen basically just were going around the entire world. Vancouver, uh, Prague, uh, Russia, London. And it was just all these different sceneries, all these different scenic places. Like all urban, but different urban. It shows you how the variety and kind of the aesthetics of city to city. Um, really cool. So I don't know, I suppose I just got like this kind of, I think design head on lately where I'm taking inspiration from looking around at not only like clothing, but locations and items, um, all in, you know, I suppose in the hope that I can work towards some really cool clothing for you guys. So yeah, one magazine. Um, something else I want to show you as well, but I haven't even opened this yet. This is terrible with me. All right, I've got to get this down. One hand. Let's put it on my shoulder. Let's put it on the desk. Oh, sorry, I can't even see what the camera's doing right now. So, what have we got here? We've got a 11-inch uh, Tyrant Resident Evil replica. Not opened yet. Keeping it boxed for now. This is by uh, Numskull Collectibles. Official match. 28 centimetres. For anyone that wants to know the height in centimetres. So, I've got this, which is the Tyrant T1002. Original Tyrant from Resident Evil 1, the first game. I'm going to unbox it at some point. But for now, I'm going to keep it in the box until his partner arrives. Which is actually the Nemesis. And I've got that on pre-order. Um, but when that arrives, I'll have them both together. And I'll do an unboxing of them together, I think. So something else notable since you were last here. Once the uh, camera picks up the light. Is... I don't know if you remember, I was putting this together. So it's just my Olympia medal and my two pro wins. So I wanted to frame that and put it with Luke. So that's up. So that's a little adjustment to the office space, which is cool. And obviously you've got a change of wallpapers, obviously keeping the Resident Evil in theme. Such a sucker for Resident Evil. I spend like, honestly, probably, I would say, at least an hour or an hour and a half of the day looking up Resident Evil merch to see what else is available. Like, if you want to know where my money goes, it's typically on things for, like, Resident Evil merch. I've got some really cool posters coming. I'll, um... I think I've got the files, so I'll probably upload them onto the video. Um, hopefully I'll upload them onto the video. I'll send them to myself now. I think they're on my email. So if they are, I can do this remotely when I'm at Jordan's. Uh, they're, like, these really retro, old... You know, like, you had the old... Original Dracula, the original Nosferatu, uh, the the pond, uh, the swamp thing with the font, like the horror font, Friday the 13th. They're basically like these retro posters for Resident Evil 2, 3 and Village, um, the remakes. And uh, I ordered those. I've just ordered them in like, uh, I think it's 12 by 8 inch, so not huge. But because it's three of them, what I'll do is I'm going to frame all three of them and then put them somewhere. So uh, the, the fascination for Resident Evil does definitely continue. Um, but yeah, so I just thought I'd show you those things while we're here. And then uh, I'll catch up with you in a bit. So, something else to discuss. Since we're on the, um, the topic of skating... Let me show you a little something. I have two pairs of aggressive inlines currently. But I do plan on using when I have an opportunity to. So the first pair, and these are a good looking pair, and you'll notice the color scheme is very, very me. This is the USD Sway. 
So this is just a regular USD boot. They, most of their skates when I was skating used to come like this. For any of you that know about skating. This is the chassis. This is the H block. This is the sole plate. This is the negative plate. So um, when you're jumping on things, let's say my arm's a handrail. You can jump and you grind with this part. Or you can jump and grind with this part. Or you can grind with this part, but negatives are very hard. So anyway, this is um, something I used to do so, so much. Honestly, when I look at these, it just takes me back in time. Like, I mean, like the, the amount of commitment that I have and passion for bodybuilding, I had that for this. And the only reason I stopped this is because I got to a point where I couldn't see no improvement. I think I was too scared to try tricks that were beyond me. So fear held me back. So my, my limiting factor in, in, in my skating career that I wish I had, unfortunately, was fear. Um, and I think a lot of us can relate to that in terms of like how far have we gone in something and then, I suppose, hit a, uh, hit a brick wall because we feel like the next steps are going to require something we're not capable of um and i'm like that with bodybuilding sometimes even still now like you look at shows at the weekend like you look at the quality of, of physiques up there you look at someone like keon who just won tampa and then you wonder who's going to be in the open class and how people are going to look like akim and stuff like that and you know there's just crazy crazy quality out there and it's very easy to doubt yourself but with that being said at the same time we are all unique and what you have is not what anyone else has. So I'm trying to like really just encourage the idea of, although you may look at other people and be like, wow, they've got what I haven't. Other people will look at you and think the same. Every person has a quality about them that other people admire. Well, unless you're a horrible person. So I wouldn't worry too much. All right, last, last skate, I promise. These were really, really um, sentimental to me because when I was a kid, when I got these originally, I put these on my feet and I went to bed and I didn't take them off because I was that in love with them. And these are the Brian Shima Razor, Brian Shima 2s. These are limited edition. They brought these back out like, what, like 10, 15, I don't even know how many years after they originally came out. Look at the color scheme. And the reason these were so like big deal back in the day is because they used to do this thing. They used to say this was semi-soft boot, which really isn't. So this bit here is not hard, but it's still quite hard. But the selling point of these were they were like one of the best skaters in the world at the time, Brian Shima. They were his official boot. They looked badass. Razor was like, I don't know, Razor just had like this kind of, you know like how Animal is in, in, in bodybuilding? The whole black and white, cult, hardcore scene. Razor for me was that. You know, they had these really puffy, padded inner boot, inner lining that made it kind of look urban. The name across the back, the Shima name across the back, the razor sign on the back, black and white. The color scheme was just nuts. These were like my favorite skate. And holding these now, man, like they feel so good, so quality. Um, how much is a pair of skates? Um, honestly, a good pair of aggressive inline skates are going to be like in the 200, the 200s to 300 pound mark. So convert that as you will. Um... And everything on a skate is replaceable, like literally down to the smallest screw. So you can customize the hell out of them and make them your own. So yeah, it's another thing that was a huge interest of mine. Um, like I say, I think after bodybuilding, like a few years from now, when I'm able to keep my weight down to, you know, maybe like the 240s or something like that, then I'll definitely like casually skate again. Because um, I fucking love it. Like, it's just so cool. You know, it's it has the same attraction to me as bodybuilding has in regards to like how cult it was. And also how difficult it is to master because it's a really, really hard thing to do. Um, there's a lot of things to overcome. I put these skates on about a year and a half ago and, and the first thing I noticed is just because of the substantial difference in my body weight, how quickly my feet got really sore and tired. So... There's things to overcome, so I'm hoping, uh, you know, when my weight's a bit down and after bodybuilding, I can at least, you know, go to the skate park maybe once or twice a week. You know, I've got friends that are doing other things like, 
you know, martial arts and stuff like that. I think I'm probably going to just take it back to my old passion and relive my childhood a little bit. So, and this isn't to say bodybuilding's done. It's certainly not. Bodybuilding's doing very well at the minute. I'm enjoying it. Um, but I also enjoy like having these plans ahead of me so that I have something also to look forward to that isn't what I'm doing currently. And I don't think there's anything wrong with that. I would encourage people to do that as well. Uh, as long as it doesn't detract too much from now and what you're focusing on now. For me, it feels very healthy because it feels like if I spend all day wallowing about bodybuilding and training, then I end up going really mad. Like last night I went to bed and it was really difficult to sleep because I was so adamant about setting up my training for today. Like, what movements am I going to do? And I was like, Sh Jay, like, shut the hell up. Just go to bed. Like, attack it when you get there. You know, don't be too complex. It doesn't need to be complex. It just needs to be passionate and, and hardworking. Um, so, yeah. Anyway, these are just another ramble. I'm going to uh, listen to some music for a bit. Have lunch in half an hour. It's like half 11 in the morning. Um, and uh, just, like I say, chime back in as the day goes and just make this a, a, a vloggy day video. So, I'll see you in a bit. Serious conversations going down today in the circles. Wait, Lee. You don't like fries. <laughs> that, that can't possibly mean you're an onion ring guy, are you? Those people don't exist. <laughs> onion ring people do not exist. I've never known anyone that was like all about onion rings. I never want to meet that person. That's what... So, with that being said, let us turn around. Who is an onion ring person? If you are, get below in the comments. Tell me why. Where does the best onion rings? Are they regular onion rings or is there something special about them? I want to know. Oh, and join the circles. Links in the description. Oh, quick little break on the way. Just stopped off at a from a oh, mini waitrose. Um, I got nothing, a bottle of water, just for the gym. It is now 2.41. Estimated time's about quarter past four, so I'm gonna eat in a minute, maybe closer to three, I don't know, I'll try and stretch it out a little bit. And then um, see what's what. Sorry it's dark, it's just because the, the light's coming from a different angle. Uh, what else was I gonna say? Yeah, I'm gonna get a meal out. I'm gonna get a meal out when I can find so I've got one that's got much food in. Yeah, this one. Just chicken and rice. Done quite a few low days in a row. 273 today. Lowest weight I've been entire prep. Uh, I think I've done low days ever since we were here last time, haven't it? Yes. So literally just been working towards getting some fat off. So hopefully it's been a good week of fat loss. I uh, posted a picture earlier on side tricep, obviously a bit flat, but waist is coming in quite nicely, so it's a good thing. So we're going to get back on the road anyway, and uh, we'll be at the gym hopefully before too long, and then we'll probably have a little catch up there. I'm not going to film training today, like I say, but I might film before I train, just say what we're up to and what we're going to train, and uh, just have a little chat, a little chin whack. But yeah, we're just going to resume driving now. Maybe you should clarify, because when you did your Q&A, people were like, did, I definitely you, can't drive with one did you film and drive at the same time? Certainly not. Really by the gym now. Pre-workout choice today, because I'm waiting on a kamikaze order to arrive. UPS, I hate you. 
So my stuff turned up in England last week and now it needs more information to be released. So I'm just getting annoyed with UPS. They're just shit. Everyone that uses UPS, don't use DHL. They're so much better. So I'm making do with an iced Americano. For the caffeine. Alright guys, just got to the gym. Cold brew has been, well it isn't a cold brew, it's an iced Americano because they didn't have cold brew. Because Starbucks is pretty useless and never have cold brew, even though it's on the menu. It's like going to McDonald's and uh, it says Big Mac, and then there's never Big Macs in stock. Stupid, really stupid. Anyway, this is trained by JP. I'm gonna go and have a session. I'll let you know how it goes after. Like I said, I'm not filming train today. I'm listen to some music and chill out, and just be in my own space for a moment. Drive down, it was not too bad. It's pretty nice. It's a great day. Yeah, it's because I slept. That's why the drive down here weren't too bad. So yeah, gonna go and do some um, some push today. Get that done and then um, hop to Tesco, get some bit of food and then just go and chill. Probably do a little edit on this video later when I get back. So I'll catch you in a bit. Right, done in the gym. That was actually a really good workout. Pump was great. Um, definitely gonna have coffees before training. <laughs> uh, 
just a quick thank you because we've just like been looking at the obviously the site's been going quite good today so just i'm not gonna say numbers or nothing but thank you and a lot of the people that have bought are you know friends and people that actually don't really need to buy clothes because they have sponsors and stuff so it's really kind that you've bought stuff i really appreciate it so yeah thanks guys um what else i was gonna say we're just gonna pop to tesco now grab a couple of bits for food because on the way back to jordan's Yannicka didn't actually train today, she was just chilling, sunbathing. Yep. So showered. normally the day that we, the first day she comes down, I think she does this on purpose now, she times it that she doesn't train. So the last couple of times we've come down to Jordan's, the first day she's like not trained, which is nice actually, because it means that she's not got to like um, stress about packing, I don't know, I suppose training stuff until the next day so she can just come down and chill out. So she, I think she was outside sunbathing, wasn't it? So, um, yeah, just gonna head to Tesco. Just gotta get some salmon, um, some chicken. Um, I forgot everything else already, packed everything. I used to like, what I used to do is bring down like individual boxes and cartons of cream of rice. And obviously Jordan has cream of rice that I can nick. Um, but I've got like these Tupperwares indoors, that basically like cereal ones that store it. So I thought, you know what, I'll just fill one up with rice, fill one up with oats and fill one up with cream of rice and then just bring them down, take them back as I go. So doing that. But yeah, we're just going to go there. It's a lovely afternoon, I'll tell you, like the weather's great. Um, Summer is coming back. It's really nice. Got to do some catching up on the circles because obviously I was training. Uh, just a quick highlight to the session, just to, so if you want to know what I actually did today because I didn't film the actual training session. There will be some posing footage though beforehand, so you'll see the, the posing. Um, I did... Two shoulder movements, I did um, the functional trainer, but I held dumbbells instead of holding handles, so there was some weight from dumbbells. I did that seated, but I did it like side lateral into like a front raise, which actually felt really good. Um, and then once I was done with the dumbbells, what I did, I just put them down, stood up, and just continued to pump out some lat raises. Um, so it was kind of like a superset, but it's not. It's just more like a way of me just taking them shoulders a little bit further because they are a body part that I've probably got the, the least response from, so I'm just being a bit more sensible in the choices of exercises. So just making sure I really do fatigue them on that lateral movement. Um, then we did the gym shop shoulder press. Uh, then I moved on some chest, did some uh, incline smith, a couple sets there. There was three sets on the previous two, sorry. Two sets on the uh, incline smith, moved on to the prime incline, and then done the, the weight, so it was um, allowing me to basically drop off a little bit at the end on the, second, on the first set. Um, and then the second set I did a little bit more dropping off because obviously fatigue had really kicked in by then um, Nearly running over a pheasant Then uh, moved on to the one of my favorites, which is just the cable pet fly on the, the functional trainer basically just sitting I actually did that into a stretch for the DC stretch, but then on the back end of the DC stretch With the less weight on from the sets. I actually did a couple of reps where I just squeeze and hold kind of like Haley Rambod um, FST pose during the the rep. I'm not like a massive believer of doing it all the time, but it felt incredible today. So I did that. Um, moved on to triceps. Did the, uh, the the kind of Vulcan grip, the one I used last time. You know the um, the, the handle with the two handles. The uh, don't even know how to explain it really. It's just one of those. Of a rope. Yeah, it's like yeah. a rope but with handles. So I did that kneeling just for stability sake. A couple of sets there. No, I did three sets there actually, and then I did three sets overhead single arm. Um, I was included in overhead. Uh, that was that upper body all done and then I just finished with some abs um, did some crunches uh, But I superset them with some kind of like dragon flags and then into like leg raises So that was the workout three sets of that great session really enjoyed it. I'll shut up now and I'll see you in a bit Tesco sign here we go. Show the Tesco sign. Just to prove we're at Tesco You've got to prove these things. If you ain't on video it didn't happen Got the grey edition on today so yeah, the store's live, remember that guys. So get on there and get involved. Uh, that is worldwide delivery, but there is shipping costs. Um, but you know, they're good quality t-shirts and I want to see you wear them and look handsome. More handsome than I do. What's um, the website? www.jameshollingshead.co.uk um, Yeah, so check it out. Let's go into there and get some food. She's moaning because she's got to get a trolley, but she didn't even train today. I'm like, yes, you can get a trolley. You didn't even train. I trained. This is your training today. This is your cardio. Okay. Because you did none. None. I like it. Oh. Good. 
we're heading to the salmon. I remember last time I searched the entire store. The salmon was here. Oh yes. Steam. So these are what I eat a lot of guys. It's quite lazy. I'd much rather have. Ooh, what we got? Triple chocolate, granola slice, hazelnut and praline. <gasps> Salt, I say praline. I always say praline. Salted caramel. These ones. These ones. What is? Small. See, guys, for all you that aren't dieting, go and help yourselves. Blueberries for breakfast. Love them. Yeah, cool these. these are actually really nice. I like the actual milk. So, I wish see the, you see the almond milk there. I wish we had uh, the Starbucks ones that they do in America. The cold brew. Yeah, Starbucks. yeah they're really good. Meat. Meat aisle. No steak. I've got no steak in my diet, actually. None at all. Funnily enough, uh, yeah. wooden to Rome chicken, £7.50. Should I be a posh mush? You get some nice chicken today. That's nice too. Uh, one, two. How many days are we here? Just two. So, that should be enough. I like being here, but I hate being here because I look at all the things I can't eat and get upset. Very upset. What are you getting on this? Chicken, what was it? Chicken tikka masala. Yeah, yeah, was yeah. it gluten free? Yeah. So, yeah, guys, any of you seed acts out there like Yelika, she'll give you the pointers. Oh, and also, guys, like if you ever have any good um, recommendations, if you are a seed act, you want to comment below in the videos of any of the ones with food in any good places for Yannicka to maybe check out that would be appreciated these look bloody good the shrimp Oof. love them I do like seafood I like shrimp and I do like prawns a lot I obviously love salmon as well I've got to film this because someone's house that I'm going to loves a bit of this Ben and Jerry's, yeah, he said. Fuck. That one looks fucking good. Comments below the video, what's the best flavor of Ben and Jerry's? Tell me about it. I don't have it often. This looks like a bit of me though, this one. Beautiful. Yannicka, this is perfect for you. Gluten-free hobnobs. Someone asked me what my favorite biscuits are the other day. Hobnobs are in my top three. I don't like hobnobs. Oh, for fuck's sake. And I don't actually think I can have them. There's just loads of oats, and I don't need too much oats. The bit where you see if they put their stuff on the uh, thing you organize. She's not very organized. I am. 92.61. Hers. His. Done in there. Finito. <sighs> Hungry now. It's the sun. It's a nice afternoon. So two meals left. Just gonna get back to uh, Jordan's now. Eat salmon and rice. Chill out. Unpack. And then probably um, I don't know what I'm gonna do. Need to get the laptop out and start doing some stuff. A bit of work. 
So we'll see. I'll let you know what I'm up to when we're back. Um, there's always something to do. You can always create something. There's always work to be done. All right, made it back to Jordan's. This is the annex. This is home. I'm going to eat. Ah. I'll holler after. Oh, right. So we're finally settled. Having had eaten. I've actually started an edit on the video. So I'm quite happy. Got a second memory card in the um, camera just to do some extra stuff that I'll add. So, Jordan popped over. He'd just been out for dinner with Corin. They went to a, uh, I don't know what it was. I think it looked like an Italian. I think he ate a lot of cheese. So when it when it's a weekend, I come over it. Or even when it's not a weekend. Obviously, Jordan has a meal off on a Saturday. So he tends to fire over imagery of the delights. And uh, we just talk food. I've said this on previous videos, but one of my strongest points of my friendship with Jordan is discussions of food. Um... <laughs> So always have a laugh about that. Notable things I need to do this evening. I do need to, that just went off, that's the circles. Got to catch up on the circles, see what's going on because I didn't have the internet for a while because you see this thing here, uh, that thing, Jordan was borrowing it. It's a router extender, uh, it's a Wi-Fi signal. So we didn't have Wi-Fi signal f until now. So I can do everything I need to do now on the internet. Uh, I've got to take some evening health sups. Um, got one more meal left. Um, and that's kind of it really for the regime today guys so very casual day tomorrow we have a good one we got leg day but we're also going to the cinema with the guys we're going to see bullet train if i think i mentioned that earlier in the video but not sure so looking forward to that and tomorrow i might be having a meal off so uh yeah we'll see we'll see so i'm going to wish you all good night and i'm going to leave it there because i've kind of blabbered on today about skates uh I've posed for you. I've been around the supermarket. I've abused Yannicka as I always do because I'm horrible. Um, and just, yeah, don't want to keep you forever. So thanks for watching the video. If you like this kind of stuff, just casual, do say, do comment, do like, um, share, sub, whatever you want to do. Really appreciate you helping the channel grow massively. Um, and, you know, one last time, you want to get your t shirts, guys, you know where to go. Description below, plus all my other. Little endeavors, Yamamoto Nutrition, Tough Wraps, anything you need, Love Hemp. Uh, save yourself some money with some of the discounts in the link. If you want to check out my Twitch, it's there. Obviously, other YouTube videos, um, Instagram, it's all there. So, uh, thanks again, guys, from myself. And if Yannick wants to say goodbye, she did. She's in a good mood. I'll see you later, guys. You take care. Peace and love.